Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Let's have a second, but you know, there's two reports both days of him falling asleep in, in court. Any reaction to that? Is he tired? Has he just been running around a lot? Or a, any thoughts on that? If anything, he's probably brutally bored. I mean, it's 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 painful. They make him sit there through jury selection. The first day was procedural. Uh, but no, you know, I've heard that report. It's unlikely. I know him. I sat through trial after trial with him. That never happens. Well, so you uh, President Trump is is incredibly focused. <laughs> All right. Alina, thank you, as always. Bob Seska has sent you a guess the quote, Chris. Are you ready? OK, Who let's said, do this. She doesn't have the stamina. I said she doesn't have the stamina. And I don't believe she does have the stamina. Of Hillary Clinton. Snagglepuss. No, that would be uh, Donald Bingo. Trump, as quoted <laughs> during the same year in which Hillary Clinton sat for 11 hours for okay. the Benghazi hearing and did not uh, yeah. doze off once. No. Can you? He's two days in a row. He fell. He's fallen asleep. Two days I mean, in a row. Let's yes. see if we can make it and a trio. I've got the solution. Buzz and I came up with a solution for this yesterday on the show. Judge Mershon has to bring in a lion into the courtroom so that the next time Donald Trump falls asleep. The lion should start licking his toes so that when he wakes up, like the Three Stooges sketch, when he wakes up, there's a lion licking his toes. But then we actually one upped ourselves because Donald Trump hates sharks more than yes. anything. And on dogs. The planet. He's terrified of sharks. So I thought, you know, wouldn't it be great if while he's sleeping, Judge Mershon brought in a shark to lick Donald Trump's toes? See, now that. Bonnie. And then he wakes Bonnie, up. Bonnie. Yeah. Of, my, of my Bonnie and Clyde, or as I call her, Mrs. Kisses. We should bring. Can I sneak her in? Because she, she'll just like lick the bronzer off till he wakes up. Oh, she will. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Jody, yeah. Jody, is there a Three Stooges section of New York penal law that allows for a lion in the courtroom to lick Donald Trump's toes? Can we do that legally? Can I would that love that. Um, yeah, I told a story yesterday of my brother and I once when my dad uh, would fall asleep, we put rug fuzz on his tongue one time. That was funny. I'm just, oh, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm spitballing. I'm a liberal helper. I'm giving people ideas just to, <laughs> you know. Okay. I'm sure yeah. he loved that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure he did. I'm, I'm telling you, though, he Not needs since Ronnie Nuremberg Jackson. trials has he yeah. had such a dignified moment. He does need moment. Ronnie Jackson. Right. right, Bob. I'm sorry. What, what, Bob? Oh, he needs Ronnie Jackson to come to the rescue. Yes. Because it, in the old yes. days, back in the White House, Ronnie Jackson would have given him provigil, which well, would have perked him I, right up. I know. I wonder if his lawyers dosed him so he'll shut up because they're afraid of, like, you know. With, like, some sort yeah. of injectable meth or something like that? Because that's what they, they used to, to give people. Right. Okay. Right, except they have to do it secretly. When he's not looking, they just take one of those dart guns, the tranquilizer yeah. dart guns they use to anesthetize animals Shunk. in the wild, <laughs> just right in the back of the neck, yeah. the little dart right in the back, and then he just goes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I have. We have Chris and I have made the mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdoms that's <laughs> right. suggestion many times. It's the only thing that's going to stop the thing they used to use for like rhinos, <laughs> just something you know that gets yeah. the thick. But why can't skin. I be that guy that shoots him with a yeah. tranquilizer dart? Yeah, you know I'm. <laughs> You want to be Jim um, in the Jim, helicopter. In the, copter, yeah. in the safety of the copter. Um, I want to help. I want to help them in that way. See, I'm, I'm, being, I'm trying to be a helper. I'm trying to be magnanimous with <laughs> Donald Trump defense team. If you need someone to shoot him with the tranquilizer dart, me. you can find me on Twitter at Bob Seska underscore go. Thank you. By the way, you're such a good sport. I just love this show has become like coming to Thanksgiving dinner and not like an interview. It's just good luck if you get a word in. <laughs> yes, we all just blurt things. We're just yeah. <sighs> spitballs. Okay. Um, yeah, you also oh, quoted Alina Haba. Oh, bless, bless you. you. Thank you. Who said, uh, they're not even allowing a father to attend his son's graduation. Oh, <laughs> and you said another lie. Mershon didn't say Trump couldn't go. He wants to wait and see how the trial goes. If Trump does his usual delay thing, it's a no. If they stay on schedule, he can go. Not nice. to mention, it's a Friday night. Which he could make anyway. Yeah. It's right. It's right. always a but lie. I love that he. I love that he's being treated like a little boy. Right. Okay, you know what? If, if he you're eat good, all your peas and carrots. If you eat your liver, then you get to go to the graduation. If you're a good boy, <laughs> we'll see if you can go. And that's exactly what Judge Mershon's recommendation was. Oh. We'll just we'll check and see how we are on time. If you're going to play these shenanigans where you delay the yeah. entire trial and drag your feet and make a spectacle of yourself. And it's no, but you know what? If you're a good boy, we'll let you go. You could put one popsicle, not both of them. Let's put the other one back. Pats him on the head. Oh. It sends him along. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, 
By the way, uh, Biden Harris uh, tweeted four years ago today as Americans were dying and in need of testing. Trump complained it was ridiculous that he was supposed to do testing in parking lots in the middle of a certain state that's 2,000 miles oh, away. Gosh. And you said he wanted to throttle the testing because the colossal infection rate was making him look bad. Trump's incompetence and selfishness killed hundreds of thousands of Americans, and yet he's somehow neck and neck to be president again. I mean, I was yeah. saying yesterday, Bob, it is, I mean, I am optimistic like you are with the Bob Siska rule, don't get happy. Yeah. But it is terrifying yeah. that we're on this razor's edge, right? Yeah. I know yeah. Chris it's, likes rides. It, he likes roller coasters. I do not. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> terrifying that so many people are still with this guy mm -hmm. after everything that happened. I mean, just to the testing thing, there's clips. Go I have audio clips yeah. of Donald Trump screaming to his fanboys at a rally slow the testing down he's demanding yeah, that the testing be yeah. slowed down and why is that not because of some practical consideration to avert the pandemic but in order to make his numbers seem the infection rate seem lower than it actually is to benefit him yeah. politically yeah so he wanted to actually get more people infected with covid yeah because it made him look better and we're talking about his own people so we're talking about a considerable amount of Donald Trump supporters got sick and likely died because Donald Trump wanted to slow the testing down mm -hmm. because yeah. he was concerned about not getting reelected in well, November that year. You know, and Bob, I was thinking this morning how as terrified as we all are, can you imagine how terrified everyone is around the world that yeah. America is going to do this again? You you tweeted, oh, yeah. the, fi the Financial Times tweeted, breaking news, the U.S. is on track to grow at double the rate of any other G7 country this year, according to IMF uh, forecasts. And you said, uh, not if the stupids decides that, that Trump should be president. If that happens, a recession is inevitable, just for starters. Um, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Everyone thinks that Donald Trump is going to become president. And as Jody and I talk about on my show all the time, that they're all going to get jetpacks made of beef. Right. They're all going to get these great... The, the fact of the matter is that Donald Trump has a terrible track record on the economy mm -hmm. at the very least. I mean, between his actual record of a yeah. manufacturing recession and an economy-wide deep recession uh, that lost a net 3 million jobs, the worst jobs record in American history, on top of all of that, Donald Trump can't even keep his own businesses afloat, whether it's Trump yeah. Steaks or Trump Airlines or uh, Trump University. All these businesses fail yeah. and and for the second time in a year he's in try he's in court defending himself over charges that he's a business fraud yeah. And this is the guy you want to have be the steward of the economy yeah. are you kidding where are these 45% of the American voting population yeah. is completely out to lunch. And She's off the crackers. Yeah, and uh, speaking of people around the world, Chris Jackson tweeted, according to a recent book by France, uh, Franklin Fowler, Joe Biden isn't just president of the United States. He's the West's father figure who foreign leaders call for advice and look to for assurance during situations like we currently face. The book says it was his calming presence and his strategic clarity that helped lead the alliance to such an aggressive stance which stymied authoritarianism on its front, front lines. He was the man uh, for his age. Um, I'm proud to have a president with the wisdom to lead our nation and the free world. We need him now more than ever. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. he brought this whole coalition together that shot down all these Iranian drones. You know, like, I just, yeah. you, you, you don't even want to go there if Trump were in office <laughs> right now. What would happen, right? right? Yeah, because what we saw was essentially a proportional response mm -hmm. from Iran. Uh, there was a famous episode of The West Wing where they talk about yeah. a proportional response. It's doing just enough so that you're doing something, but not so much that you're actually escalating. But the, one of the most entertaining parts, uh, the only thing that you, know, you can find some sort of comfort from in this entire situation with Israel and Iran is the fact that I don't think the Republicans know which way to go. Because on one hand, they want to stand with Israel, but on the other hand, yeah. they know that Putin is with Iran, so they don't want to piss off Vladimir Putin. Oh, our enemies, Russia. yeah. You don't want to piss off our enemies. Yeah, yeah. you retweeted mm -hmm. Charlie Kirk said, they folded on FISA, they folded on Ukraine, they folded on our border security without a fight. And, you know, Hal Sparks, you retweeted, said, this is what happens when you only have three votes more than the other side, but think you have the mandate of a supermajority. The idiocy and the ego of maggots is on full display. Well, and now, probably yeah. on cue, they're going <laughs> to vacate this speaker. <laughs> Right. <laughs> yes, they have idiot strength. That is the, yes. the, the power that comes with being remarkably stupid. And yeah. so the, 
they're they're making all the mistakes, making things worse for themselves. And just in time for an election, we get to watch the Republicans in disarray between now yeah. and November. So please, Marjorie Taylor Greene, please, House Republicans, keep going. You're doing great. You're doing great. Um, yeah. Finally, Andrew Weissman, on the, just to bring it back to the trial uh, in, in New York, um, he says the stakes. If Trump loses this New York state case, everything is potentially on the line, and he knows it. His presidential campaign, with his only available option to avoid multiple federal and state criminal convictions, Convictions and significant jail time. Um, I mean, I guess my question too is: you heard him say it. We just played it over. <laughs> this is a Biden trial. Biden trial. Election interference. <laughs> Biden totally. Bad. Yeah. I mean, do do the vast majority of people that live on you know Earth, Earth. One really think that mm-hmm. a state trial about him pay- paying off a porn yeah. star when Joe Biden wasn't president it is somehow controlled by Joe Biden? I mean, how would that even be possible? Oh, I know. I know. I assure you, though, most of the normals don't believe that's the case whatsoever. This is Donald. You know, this is Donald Trump making sure his base stays in line because he desperately needs the red hats in order to make any sort of showing in November. If he loses any of those red hats, if the red hats start to see the details of this trial and future trials, they're going to start to peel away and go, you know what? This guy's not worth it. We're going to kind of back away. I'm not talking about a significant number of them. Just all it takes is a couple of percentage points to seriously affect him. Yeah. So he needs to keep all those people in line. And so consequently, he's out there doing the ch- whatever the new version of chopper talk, which is to go to the, the most echoey room that he can find near the courthouse <laughs> and start crazy. screaming. The only question is, where's that whistle woman? The woman with the whistle and... <laughs> We need more disruption well, when he's yes. talking because also, he did, it happened yesterday and it was <laughs> he seems so annoyed with whoever it was. Yeah. Uh, so I would fun. like to have you join the Me and Hal Sparks game how long before there will be a very audible fart or an entire full poopy diaper. Which how soon Oh, I'm I'm going before the end of the week. <laughs> Thir- Thursday How much of Friday. that of his base will peel off when you go, oh, he's an old guy falling asleep that also yeah, just yeah. himself. It's, it's Maybe it's already <laughs> happened and Maggie Haberman's just too bashful to report it. Right? <laughs> she's right. that, she's I, bashful. He's dopey and grumpy and sleepy. Yeah, just everyone manifest this conversation between Maggie Haberman and Jake Tapper. And Jake Tapper's asking her about what happened in court today. Well, how do I put this delicately? The, the president had an accident. <laughs> How do we, how do I say this on CNN, Jake Tapper? But you're seeing he, he is absolutely proving a case against himself that he's trying to make about Joe Biden. Like clearly the rallies, he's obviously on something that you know he can yeah. hype himself up for an hour. But this is what you're seeing. This is him. You know, yeah. like he can't even Every stay t- awake. He's yeah. Anyway. Every attack is a confession. Yeah. This is all the whole yeah. Joe Biden. He's proving is on he's cocaine. not mentally or physically fit. Right. Every day, it's yeah. just like okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's obvious to anyone who's watched Donald Trump for the last nine years that yeah. he gets jacked up on something before one of his rallies or before any sort of public appearance. And you can tell also when he's done that and when he has it. So, like, for example, look at his U.N. speech that he did where everyone was laughing at him. Yeah. Low energy, weak. He wasn't, you know, but it's because he wasn't jacked up for that. But, yeah. there, you know, yeah. his rallies, he gets jacked up. And, I love and he's becoming what every is. stupid nickname he's ever called anyone else. Okay. Yeah. It's the shot and chaser is his humiliation in court, and then the chaser is the troth central stock yeah. that I, I'm following keep- every morning. In fact, it's it's probably already started selling now, <laughs> and I'm dying to check out the stock price. I'm going to just check the ticker here because it's always so entertaining. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, did my you God. see someone right, posted? The day that I'm on the radio, it's now up. Uh, 1%. Oh, no. so oh dear. I love someone posted uh, Biden skiing down the, <laughs> the ground. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you yeah. posted, Jeff said, always fight me downhill, boys. And it's just that Scott stopped. Me downhill. <laughs> Gotta go downhill. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, we you know what we learned that's from? That that never fight uphill me boys, never attack uphill me mm. boys, what Trump was saying about Gettysburg. Syphilitic it's brainworms? No. It's not even remote. Well, brainworms, sure, but it's not even remotely connected to Gettysburg, no. Robert E. Lee, or the Civil War in general. It's a quote from The Outsiders. Yes, that movie set in the 1950s. Right, Matt Dillon says yes. it in The oh, Outsiders. God. Remember, he did that one nothing, gruesome not, scene that was supposed to be even, illegal alien. It was from Sicario. It's, right. <laughs> He's just, it is. <laughs> like, it's somewhere a couple of those neurons crossed <laughs> paths and say, you know what? This quote from The Outsiders, when, a movie about 1950s greasers versus the socials. Yeah. With Ralph Macchio. 
What? That's somehow interwoven. The brain worms have connected that. He's to got to give his brain to science, War. don't you think? Well, yeah. First of all, because someone will say you brought me an Abby normal brain. But secondly, because it yeah. just don't you think it is just syphilitic worms like swimming well, in, I don't know what, bleach, maybe horse paste, something. It, they're just. When did yeah. he have time to watch The Outsiders? I don't know. I don't know. He doesn't maybe sleep. Baron like, just saw it. Well, I've seen it a few times and I had no recollection of that quote. And Donald Trump is remembering that quote and then linking it to Robert E. Lee at Gettysburg, which, by the way, Robert E. Lee did the exact opposite of that at Gettysburg. Robert E. Lee did nothing but fight uphill the entire three right. days at Gettysburg. So there was no way he was warning his boys not to fight uphill because he was actually ordering them to fight, fight uphill, uphill all three days of the 